Somehow both lines came free, and the boat was bouncing up against the dock where we had to storm Back to the boat. Woo! On our way to the boat to see Zephyr finally after months and months yeah. of neglect. <laughs> so we're pretty excited. Uh, the whole car is full up. Just taking stuff back. Presents that we got for Christmas were all boat related. We've got lots to do. We've got a whole list. Busy, but we're looking forward to it. Yeah. Woo! Let's go. Yeah, that was a drive and a half. It sure was. And we got lost a couple times. We got lost, we took the wrong turn, and we left so late. Yeah. All right, let's go. <laughs> hey guys, so we're back on the boat, and it is amazing being back on. We've got all our stuff just thrown about everywhere. Last night we arrived at, it must have been like 12.30, so we pretty much got everything out of the car. It was pitch black, so we were super tired, so we didn't do any filming. We literally came on, James started inspecting the boat because there was some damage that was caused while we were away for Christmas. The front two bow lines in the marina holding us in place um, snapped or we don't even know the full story of this but something happened and the boat literally came onto the dock and we've got some pretty bad bits on the back but we weren't really able to see them until today um, and James has gone out last night wanted to have a look quickly just to see what we were dealing with and what's happened babe I don't know, but I've thrown the bottom end of my back out and it took me 40 minutes to get out of bed and I can't even stand under my own weight at the moment, so... <laughs> so there he is, he can't even stand up. The fridge is holding me up at the moment. I am a little bit worried. I'll be fine once the <sighs> ibuprofen kicks in. <laughs> oh my god, so there he is, holding on for dear life onto the fridge. Let's see if I, let, let's see if I can do this under my own weight. No. Alright. Yeah, this is good. Meanwhile, I'm going to check out the damage at the front, so I'll show you that. Uh, sorry, at the back. I'll show you that and just check that everything's okay outside whilst James's ibuprofen kicks in. It looks pretty bad though, so... We'll see what happens. It's kind of what I'm doing. <laughs> It looks like you got a pot belly. Anyway, I've just had to dress James because he can't bend over or anything. That's the first time in our entire relationship. Yeah. So. And now I'm about to put your shoes on. No, no. I think I can do this. It counts as slip-ons. <laughs> Yeah, so these are these are the two bow lines. So we're med moored, stern on, and these are the two bow lines that are provided by the marina. And we can see that the port one has been replaced. Um, yeah. It's a new line. It's a little bit thinner than the other one. And the starboard one seems to be the same line as before. 
but my understanding is that uh, somehow both lines came free and the boat was bouncing up against the dock when they had a storm so So we've just been to speak to the marina to find out what's happening with the insurance and it seems like they're kind of getting it underway aren't they really? Yeah slowly but surely. But, um... but it just seems to be taking a long time and um, they've pretty much just said you give them a call just to speed things up so you can get the boat hauled out and start the work. So I think that's what we're going to do but it was just good to come down. But we think there might be some extra damages because yeah. we were talking to our next door neighbors and apparently when the boat came off, it was actually bouncing up onto their boat and it's broken all their stanchions. So we might have like more damage underneath. So yeah. I guess when we pull it out, we'll, we'll find out. We'll know more then, yeah. And so. now we're off to find the sail repair guys and I think a fiberglasser as well. So yeah, just have a chat to a few people. Yeah, check it out. So they broke it. They need to be replaced. Okay. Alright, guys. Well, I've had a chat to um, the guys in the shop, and they're going to be doing our bimini and sail repair, which is really cool. So we had a tear in the UV protector on our head sail from hitting the top spreader so that's pretty cool he's gonna fix that for me and uh, we had some clear panels um, on our bimini over the uh, driver's positions that need to be replaced as well so we got that sorted he's also gonna look at some of that fiberglass damage that we sustained in the storm last month so um, yeah so it went all really well so we've got everything that we needed to get done now we wanted to come down on a f like be here on a Friday so that we could you know, speak to everyone, especially because in Spain they close really early on a Friday, like I think two o'clock and then they don't reopen. Mm. Um, so that's perfect. We've done everything we need to do. Now we're quickly going to go and get some food because we are starving Yeah. and then get started on little things around the boat. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Woo. What did you think of the boat when we came back? Yeah, it was, it was fine. I, I, obviously like the bits that had sustained the damage uh, were some bits were worse than what I thought and some yeah. bits were less um, I mean pretty much the back bit looks pretty bad yeah. but when you look at all the other boats that has sustained damage in the marina we actually came off as pretty good pretty good because all the other ones I don't know what's going on in this marina but yeah. they've all hit and it looks horrendous. So their insurance company must be taking claim after claim after claim after claim. So it's funny you say that because the guy I just spoke to told me there's 20 boats in the marina that sustained damage from the last storm. So it's just insane. And apparently there's one coming in this Monday, um, which we yet to check really because I mean it looks beautiful right now, <laughs> and it's actually quite hot now, isn't it? Out. So anyway, we'll find out. But let's go and grab some food. Coffee too. I need coffee. Yeah. Well, oh. I'm off coffee. <laughs> All right, another one of our many boat projects is, this is the shelf that was underneath our sink. So when the tie rod pulled out for the port chain blade, it obviously broke this in half. And so I'm gonna try and rebuild it or get it fixed, I don't know. We, we wanna put our shelf back in, so one of the other projects to work on. Meanwhile, I'm changing up all the old plates for all the bamboo plates that I got over Christmas and just I've been asking for bamboo plates for a long long time and I think they're the best thing to have on the boat um, they're they don't break they're super ecologically friendly biodegradable so if we were to lose one off the side it's not plastic going in the ocean so I'm really really happy to have this and I've got a full set here of bowls and plates and cups more cups 
so I'm super happy. You got any of the bowls and plates? Jane's got them for Christmas, but I've got a range of different things. <laughs> These are the ones you got me. And then all the mugs. Oh, and I, so what I'm working on here, guys, is new companionway doors. So these doors have these wooden slats which are open and in the colder climates kind of sucks. And also we found out when we were in following seas and wind, um, we get sea spray through these. So that wasn't too great. And they're just not that secure. They're really flimsy. So I'm going to make acrylic ones, the same as the companionway lid here. And I think they'll look much nicer. Uh, I'm not gonna make them with any holes, so that'll stop any of the breeze coming in. And I think they'll look really cool as well. So and I'll take some measurements and then I'm gonna get the acrylic cut and then fix all the gear to it. So see how we go. Engine start up. Dun dun dun. She hasn't run for six weeks. That scare you. <laughs> going to go to Ikea but apparently there wasn't much of an Ikea store here so we ended up going to the cinema. Yeah. <laughs> Bit of a difference. So we've gotten back after our cinema <laughs> experience which I can't remember the last time we went to the cinema maybe St. Martin Yeah. and it was super cheap so we were like let's do it and now we're having wine and pizza night and we're about to watch another movie yeah. <laughs> so taking it easy mostly because james hurt his back and can't move at the moment so i am a bit of a cripple at the moment how good is that pizza nice <laughs> Join us next week on Sailing Zephyr as we continue to get little jobs done aboard before the storm kicks in and takes quite a few boats by surprise. Well, we have a lot of jobs that we need to do. If you are new to our channel, consider subscribing so you can join the adventure each week aboard Zephyr.